In this video, we're looking at using files in Python. Now, we're just going to have a look at basic reading and writing and appending. We'll look in more detail at using files with lists later. But for now, I'm just going to have a look at some basic operations. So, so far, all we have done is we have ran programs. We have used the information that the user has given us. We've done calculations or done um, various other manipulation techniques on the data. And then once the program was finished, that was it. Um, we didn't store the data. We couldn't retrieve it. We couldn't use it again. We just displayed it to the screen only. So that's known as standard output. So an example of maybe reasons why you would want to save are things like the customer login or possibly even orders or payment details or shipping details or lots of different things you might want to save about an interaction that has happened while someone has used your code. So to start off with, what we're going to do is have a look at reading and writing to a file. Okay, so when we read and we write to a file, we have to open it up and we give it a name. So it's almost like a variable name. So we'll look at the example here. So I've got test file. So I've got test file equals and then I'm opening it up. Now, this thing here is the location of the file itself. Python will deal with text files or binary files. In our example, we will use text files. So it's .txt. And then I've got a comma at the end. And then I have got W. So the W would signify write to the file. So open my file .txt W. If the file doesn't exist at this point, the file would be created for you. If the file exists, by using W, you overwrite whatever is there. So you need to be careful with this one. And then we've got another one here underneath. We have got test file again. So that would be the, the variable, I suppose, the shortcut name for this particular file. So the file is myfile.txt. We're opening it up. And this time we're using R, so we're going to read from it. And then the last option we've got down here is I've got W+. If you put a plus at the end of any of these, it means you can read and write. So test file equals open myfile.txt W+. Okay, so what we have to do when we set up the file is we give it a name. We tell it that we want to open it. We tell it the file location and we tell it whether we want to read it or write it. OK, so once we have done that, what you have done is you've given like a shortcut name. Test file in this case would be the shortcut name to this particular file. And dependent on what you've chosen, if you've chosen to write or read, then that operation will be allowed when you play about with your file. So I think the best way to see this is to use an example. OK, so what we've got here is we have got, same as usual, we have got the name, date and what it does. And we have got this thing, def create file. So def create file would be for creating files. We have got def read file for reading the file. And then we've got our main section of code. So what I'll do is I'll start off with the main section of code and I'll just jump to the different functions as we use them. So first thing we do is we print right to the file and we're jumping to create file. So we'll go up here. So create file. So I'm creating a link to a file called myfile.txt. 
Okay, if my file.txt does not exist, because I'm using W, it will create it. So it will open for writing this file called myfile.txt. And from now on, it's going to be known in the code as test file. So underneath here, I have got test file dot write. And it writes to the file, this is a test file. And then I have got test file dot write again, but this time you have got slash n. The slash n forces it to take a new line in the file. So test file dot write, this is test file two, and it will take a new line. And then I've got this thing here, testfile.close. After we play with a file, either read or write or append, we normally close it. So what we've done here, we've written out two things to the file. So we've done our create file. So then after create file, we jump back down and we print out read from the file, print, and then we're just printing out file contents and then I'm just jumping to read file. So for read file up here, again, I'm giving it a kind of shortcut name, the file that is. So the file will now be known as test file. And what I want to happen is I want it to be opened. The file I want to be opened is myfile.txt. And I want the data to be read from it. So to read all of the data at once, we can use testfile.read. So I'm taking all of this data and I'm sticking it into contents. And then all I'm going to do is print the contents out to the screen and close the test file. And as you can see at the side here, what we've got is write to the file. So that was the print down here on line 31 and the file was written to and then on line 33 it says read from the file which we've got here line 35 file contents it's fine and it writes out this is test file and it also writes out this is a test file too so it writes out those two lines it's taking the information from the file and it's writing it out to the screen. What we can also do is we can append, add something on at the end of the file. So it's not always useful to write to the file because if we write to the file, we write over stuff. It starts from the beginning all the time. <coughs> and that's not useful if you want to store information maybe order details or customer details or something, you might want to append it, stick it on at the end. So we do a similar thing to opening for writing and for reading. We have got test file. And what test file will do is it will store the information about the file itself. And we just use the word test file whenever we're going to play with the file. So we've got open, so we're opening the file up, give it the file name, now the file has to exist. If it doesn't exist, you'll get an error message because we want to append the file. So the A will add on at the end, append. So looking at some code here. So we've still got our create file, the same as the last time. So we're going to create the file, we're going to read from the file, and then we're going to append the file. So looking at the main code, I've got print out right to the file, and then I'm going to go and jump to create file. So going back here, I've got test file, open, myfile.txt for writing. If myfile.txt does not exist, it'll create it and it opens it for writing. Writing it starts at the very start of the file, so you, you wipe everything. <coughs> then it writes out to the file. This is a test file. 
then we are writing out the file again. Slash n will force it to take a new line and it just says this is a test file too. So we've created our file as here and then we're going to read from the file and we print out the file contents and we jump to read file. So read file. We do a similar thing as before. We give the name of the file that's got to be referenced throughout the code. And we have got test file and then we're opening up it for reading. Mm -hmm. So we're opening it up for reading. I'm just going to change the layout of this. So sorry. So we're opening the file up for reading the same way as we done before. Just going to move along. So we've got our test file equals open myfile.txt for read. We're reading in test file dot read. So we're reading in the contents, the whole contents, sticking it inside contents. And then we've got printing out the contents and then we're closing the file. So we have done that one. We have got read, read the file. And then we're appending to the file, so we're adding on to it. So just going to jump up here to def append file. Again, we've got test file equals open myfile.txt. And we've got an A at the end. The A at the end would indicate append, so add it on at the end. And then we're writing to the file. I have an, added another line of text. I've got a slash n in front of it to force it to take a new line. And then I've got a test file dot close. So we jump back down after append file, print out blank line, print out file contents. And we jump back up to read file. So read file opens myfile.txt for reading, reads in all of the contents, sticks it inside this variable contents, prints out to the screen and then closes the file. Now initially when we've done it, we wrote out to the screen, write to the file, read from the file and then the file contents we're written out as this is a test file, this is a test file too. Then when we jump to append, we added a new line. I have added another line of text. And you can see that here, you get file contents from read file. And this time it's got, this is a line of text. This is a test file too, and I've added another line of text. So you've got all three lines there because we've appended. So these are the basic operations. You've got read, you've got write, and you've got append. Stick on at the end. Um, very similar to the way that we'll do it when we look at the lists in the next section. Try the examples here. Any questions, ask me in class. And then try the exercises on Canvas.